that person can't go to jail. So in order for him to be free, he told on his dead cousin. Now, the reason why this is wrong is because T.I. is a hypocrite. I'm going to show you, you know, let's get to that first. T.I. is a hypocrite. The reason why T.I. is a hypocrite is because of this, right? So there was an artist named um, Alpha Mega, right? And we're going to finish the rest of that interview right there. But there was an artist named Alpha Mega, a dope artist from Atlanta named Alpha Mega, too. Big, scary looking thing. The type of thing, like you tuck your chain in, big Debo type looking thing. I don't know. I right, check this. Before we even start this video, like, you know how people be saying, like, when you get locked up, people forget about you? That's 100% true. Because check this, right? A couple weeks ago, I'm just going to put this out there. A couple weeks ago, um, on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, uh, Instagram, all that, um, I put out a flyer, this flyer right here, right? Basically saying we were doing something. We're going to do a free JPay giveaway, and I'm going to let you guys know this, too. I opened this up to everybody in 716 in Buffalo, and guess how many people actually submitted for this? Zero. Nobody submitted anything. So people forget about people when they locked up. So basically, um, what we're doing here is every Friday we're going to be doing a giveaway at 7.16 p.m. where I'm going to be doing a free JPEG giveaway to just a random person. So if you got somebody that's locked up, somebody who you love, maybe one of your loved ones is loved up. I mean, one of your loved ones that's locked up, as long as they're able to get JPEG, um, you can submit them. Uh, the directions to submit for the uh, actual uh, giveaway is right here. Basically, right here it says free donation for them, free gift for you. Um, names drawn Friday at 7.16 p.m. on the YouTube channel DJ Bandana Black. And to submit, all you do is submit the inmate's name and JPay ID number, and then you submit your name and cell phone number. You text that to 716-235-1016, or you email that to imbuffalo716 at gmail.com. And it's just that. It's free. So basically, you got somebody that's locked up. You inbox me their name and their number. Boom. I'm going to put that in a, uh, in, in a, what is it called? In a, what is that thing we bought? In a, and the thing where you, you know what I'm saying, when you shake it and you put out the names, and we're going to put out the name every Friday at 716 and give away a, a free JPEG. Like I said, no strings attached. Uh, you don't have to do any, you don't have to give any money or anything like that. If you do want to donate, um, any donation towards that, like I said, we'll be able to give out bigger uh, JPEGs or be able to give out more JPEGs. But either way, out of my own pocket, every Friday I'm going to be giving out a free JPEG to somebody that's locked up. Shout out to my people that's locked up. But anyways, we got to get into this um, this TI situation, yo. This this T.I. situation broke my heart. So I ain't even going to hold you. T.I. is a um, T.I. is a hypocrite. I ain't going to hold you. And T.I. was one of those people who was one of the stand-up people in our community. T.I. is one of those last of the, the, the OGs who you just, you know, those people that's like, like, like Jay-Z, like Nas, like Jeezy. Um, a couple of those people, like, like, like T.I. was those people who you just have a, a, a genuine respect for. Um, I lost that for T.I. only for, for, for being fraudulent and for honestly being fake at the end of the day. And I want to hear from you guys at the end of the day. I want, want, want you guys to really, like, listen to everything I'm going to say in this video and then give me your, your, your full take um, on everything. But before we get into T.I. Um, situation, because I'm going to show you. I'm not just one of the people on YouTube who's going to talk. But I'm going to show you why T.I. is a hypocrite. T.I. is 100% a hypocrite, and he owes Atlanta and somebody else who I'm going to show you an apology at the end of the day. But before we get into that, listen, on... Uh, was it the 17th? Yeah, December 17th, right? This is for the kids. I want to tell you this real quick. This is for the kids. December 17th, we're doing a toy drive for the kids here in Buffalo, New York, here at 716. Um, shout out to my boy Spills. Shout out to Mark Lee. Shout out to Danger. Shout out to Ray, uh, Brenton, everybody else that's involved with this. Got a lot of sponsors. Shout out Winter Peace. Everybody else is involved with this. Um, basically, we're going to be doing a toy drive. Um, we're going to have like cotton candy, a uh, face paint, and a bunch of free stuff for the kids. And we're also going to have a basketball team. We're going to have a, a, a basketball tournament. Uh, my team, I am Buffalo team versus J, DJ J Real team. I forgot his team. I think I think his team was called the Losers. Let me see. What was his team name? Let me see. Uh, I know his team, I am Buffalo versus it was versus. I know they're going to lose. I forgot the name of their team. Shout out DJ J Real. Whatever name of his team is, they're going to lose. But it's going to be all for the kids. Um, I'm probably going to cross. I'm probably going to drop about 40, 50 points. Probably cross all crossover. Probably like the whole team. Um, I do need some more people to play on my team though. So if you want to play on the I am Buffalo team, like I said, it's going down December 17th. It's fifty dollars per person. It's all going towards the uh, kids. You will get something for that fifty dollars if you want to um, inbox me for that. Um, I'll hit you up um, about that. We only need about three, three or four more players because on my team, I'm just looking for good ball passers. Because you know, I'm damn near Curry Jordan on the team. So I just need, I just need good people to pass me the ball so I can just switch three point, half court, full court shot. So if you're a good ball passer. Inbox me if you want to hop on the team. Again, it's for the kids. It's for the kids. It's for the kids. Toy drive for the kids. But all right, now let's get into the CI situation. Uh, you know what? We gotta play the. Uh, we gotta play the intro. We gotta play the intro for the show. My bad. We haven't dropped the video in a while. Listen, g give me a break. Give me a break. We haven't dropped the video for a while. I missed y'all too, by the way. How have you guys been doing? See that? That's rude. That's what I be talking about, Bandana fam. This why. This what I be saying. This what I be saying about y'all, Bandana fam. It's, it's always your own people. We've been talking for. 
four minutes. Ain't nobody asking how I was doing. I ain't asked how y'all was doing. And we supposed to be fam. We supposed to be like this. Let me just take a minute. How, how's the bandana fam doing? How, how you doing today? All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, you're doing better than me. I actually don't care how you're doing because you're doing better than me. Now I'm just playing. God bless and all that. But listen, T.I. Uh, says, no, we got to play the intro. My bad. Boom. Warning. 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 Tonight's forecast is a total blackout. You know what that means, baby, baby. It's the blackout with DJ Bandana Black. Yeah, yeah, it's your boy Taj, man. I want to give a big, big shout out to my brother, my guy, DJ Bandana Black. The Black Eyed Buffalo stand up. God Squad, Free Dick Wolf, Leo. What's good, Buffalo? This your boy, Uncle Murder, from Brooklyn, East New York. And you already know I'm rocking with the homie DJ Bandana Black. Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. The Blackout. This the King of Philly. Gilly the Kid and Kings only rock out with Kings, so you know I'm rocking out with my man DJ Bandana Black, aka Mr. I Am Buffalo. Huh? Hey yo, it's poppin', man. It's your boy Spills, and you are now tuned into the Blackout, hosted by DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. You already know we got love for you. What's our stand up? DJ Ban Ban Bandana. Check, 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 check. Okay, so listen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Black Owls, DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag. I am Buffalo. Check this, right? So T.I., the other day, T.I. got on, um, I don't even know what platform it was. It might have been his own uh, his own podcast, and he actually um, gave up some information. He voluntarily gave up some information. Um, that's crazy that he voluntarily gave up information. Like, no pun intended, because we're talking about him voluntarily giving up information. This nigga made trap music, bro. Rubber band man, something. This, bro, no one on the corner got swagger like us. And this nigga out here talking. But listen, anyways, um, let me pull this up for you guys right here. And before you guys, um, uh, say that I'm still in content, I'm not still in content right now, right? So I seen this video of, I just want to say this up front, I seen this video of T.I. the other day, um, it's actually on the Expeditiously uh, podcast or like that too, I don't remember whose platform I seen it on, and then I seen academics and a bunch of other platforms who I do not rock with because they're not for the culture, these guys should be out of here, WAC 100, academics, um, who else, and Charleston White, all three of them should be out of here. So anyways, I didn't want to use their video in, in, in my video, so I chose to use another black man, another black uh, platform who I rock with. So shouts out to, uh, is it going to show it? Shouts out to Urban Politics TV, Urban Politics TV. I am not stealing your content. I'm browning it for, for this video right here. I'm, I'm shouting you out and all that. Basically, if you report me, bro, I'm going to fight it. I'm going to fight it. If you report me, I'm going to fight it, bro. We both black. We both got beard. You should not be reporting me, bro. And you got the Jesus piece. I'm a Christian, bro. Don't report me. It goes. It don't go against that religion, but don't report me, bro. He's co I already got a copyright strike. But anyways, um, <laughs> shout out to the Urban Politics. Um, we're going to play a little bit of this right here so y'all can hear what um, T.I. actually had to say himself. This is heartbreaking. I'm, I'm going to explain to you why this is heartbreaking. I'm going to show you why this is heartbreaking, though, but. If it was Jamil, and I had a talk with two. What two said? Posthumously. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After he had passed. After he had passed, I had a talk with him. What two said? Say, I take all the charges you got. If you can walk away free and put it on me, goddamn right. Okay, so what, 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 um, Mr., uh, T.I., Mr. T.I.P. is referring to right there. Um, his cousin passed away. Rest in peace to his cousin. I don't like bringing, I don't like speaking on dead people or anything like that, but this is this is going to be a learning lesson right here. I know you guys are probably thinking, like, well, we're just going to play this clip. Being in the black, let's know who he's talking about. No, I'm actually going to show you something else because T.I. owes Atlanta and this artist, in my opinion, uh, apology. But anyways, he's talking about his dead cousin. Anyways, him and his cousin wind up catching a charge, I guess some type of gun charge, something like that. Um, his cousin, in the process of them, um, fighting this charge. So say like they caught this charge. Say for example, they caught this charge in January. His cousin passed away in February. Um, he had to go to court in March and April. So when you get to court in March and April, it's not him and his cousin fighting the case. It's just really just him fighting the case because his, his cousin is dead. So he's going to do like any other black man would do and say, you know what? Them guns and them drugs is, was my cousin's. Like I, I told him that to have it. It was his. I ain't had nothing to do with it because I mean a dead person can't. Uh, go to jail. I'm going to tell you why this is wrong, though. I'm 100 percent wrong. Dead person can't go to jail. So, in order for him to be free, he told on his dead cousin. Now, the reason why this is wrong is because Ti is a hypocrite. I'm going to show you. No, let's get to that first. Ti is a hypocrite. The reason why Ti is a hypocrite is because of this, right? So, there was an artist named um, 
Alpha Mega, right? And we're going to finish the rest of that interview right there. But there was an artist named Alpha Mega, a dope artist from Atlanta named Alpha Mega, too. Big, scary looking thing. The type of nigga like you tuck your chain in. Big Debo type looking thing. I don't know anything about him. I just. T.I. is the one who, who, who brought him upon us to the world. T.I. said, you listen, Grand Hustle, PSC, this is my man, this is my homie, 100% tied in, street gang gang, you know what I'm saying, what they do, you know what I'm saying? That's what T.I. said. And then um, there was a rumor that this Alpha Omega guy may have um, willingly um, gave up some information like T.I. did. So, if th you know, let's just play this part because this is what T.I. had to say. So when, when this guy willingly gave up information, this guy who tried was like this forever was like this. My, I, I seen I seen Black Panther last night. I can't stop doing this shit right. I seen Black Panther last night. Well, anyways, T.I. and this guy was like this, right? And when, when, when times got rough, um, this is what T.I. had to say about this guy. Yeah, well, you know what, man? I can't afford to really be associated with that. Right. That ain't in my best interest. Right. Either way it goes. So it wasn't in T.I.'s best interest. This is crazy. Because it wasn't in T.I.'s best interest to be around somebody who willingly gave up information. Even in the situation that T.I. was in, I mean, not T.I., even in the situation that Alpha Mega was in, um, Alpha Mega gave up information, but it's not like Alpha Mega and his man, it's not like Alpha Mega and his cousin got into an issue, uh, got into a situation, and then Alpha Mega told on his cousin, even if his cousin was dead, alive, and like that. What Alpha Mega did was, he lied. He told on somebody who he didn't even know. This is like, say, say for example, if me and Alpha Mega never met each other in their life. Me and Alpha Mega never met each other at all. What Alpha Mega did was like, yo, Bandana Black be having mad packs of loud, bro. Bandana Black be having, you know what I'm saying, mad apes are just crazy loud. Best apes of loud. I mean, best, best, best apes in town, right? So say if Alpha Mega says some shit like that, right? That's still telling, that snitching if, I mean, I'm not doing it, obviously, if I was doing that, but that's the, the case of what Alpha Mega did. So technically, he did tell, but he didn't even, he, he really didn't even have nothing to do with the guy. He basically gave, willingly gave some information. He lied on somebody. T.I. told the truth, willingly gave some information on somebody, and then said this right here, though. When it came down to it, he had this to say. Yeah, right. That ain't in my best interest. Right. Either way it goes, you know, it was kind of like they only thought about themselves. Never mind. That's crazy that T.I. would say that somebody, somebody, somebody willingly gave us some information, right? Alpha Omega willingly gave us some information, and you only thought about himself. He was being selfish. You only thought about himself. But T.I., you're a hypocrite because this isn't new, by the way. You said it yourself that this is old information. You said, when they said, yo, is this what everybody be giving you grief about? You said, nah, this ain't even about that. This is some old stuff. One, I want to know what you talk, what was on your mind when they said this ain't even about that because... What was they talking about? Because nobody actually said like, what would you, what would you told on? Everybody just said that you got caught with a bunch of guns, you went to jail for a year, and you never went to jail. Lil Dirk did the same thing. You know, nobody ever said you was a snitch besides whack one hundred. Because, I mean, that's a whole different story. But what was on your mind when you said, no, nah, this ain't even what, this ain't even what they talking about. Um, this something else. This something happened way back. Because this happened, something happened way back. This Alpha Mega thing happened way back also too. Because maybe you felt like his telling situation. Might have got entwined with your telling situation, and you might not be where you at right now today, Ti. Because Alpha Mega is not where he's at, where he could have been at today, because of you. Well, I mean, because of his choices, because of you and your choice, because you cut him off. Nobody cut you off. You know why? Because we didn't know you kept that secret all this time. You was nah, man, rubber, rubber band, man, king of the trap, man. I stand on business, da, da, da. man. We respected you, uh, honestly, bro. We respect, and you know it's hard being. I'm from Buffalo, New York. I ain't even from New York City. It's hard to even to, to respect anybody. Like besides Jay Z, um, big uh, besides Jay Z and and, and Puff and big, our, our New York uh, OGs, niggas from New York don't really be looking up to niggas from the South, bro. And you really, you really let me down, bro. That's why when, when I do these videos, it, it, sometimes it takes a little while to do these videos because this shit really hurt, huh? Like I really believe in you, and I know a lot of people saying, well, you 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 kind of going overboard with it because you would have did the same thing. No, one, I wouldn't be in that situation if I was in that situation. I probably would do the same thing, but I didn't create trap music. I'm not on here telling people I'm standing on business, I'm doing this, and this whole thing with Charleston White and everything else, too. But listen to this guy. Because I'd be damned if they go come and motherfucking extradite me from here. <laughs> so they can come get me from here Shit. and serve me a warrant. They doing damn good. That's crazy, huh? Now, let's, let's just take a little bit more into this interview right here this is the breakfast club this is a while back this is old so remember when i was saying like stuff from way back way back remember what ti said in that interview that same interview he was like no this ain't what they talking about this is from way 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 back was it around this time ti i'm just wondering i, I don't know 
mind how it affects you. Never mind how I can fall back on you. It's all about me. So if that's the if that's the if that's the take on it, I have no choice but to separate myself. You know, just just due to what's best for me and mine. Okay. That's crazy because when you say what's best for you and yours, he was I mean, he was part of the gang. He was gang gang squad squad. What do you mean what's best for you and yours? That's why I say T.I. is a hypocrite because you can't have it both ways, bro. You can't secretly be untold on somebody and got about it, wiggle your way about it, your situation and um, castrate somebody else for their situation. I think that that Alpha Mega situation, um, you could have handled that a little bit better, bro, because he was really... He's putting in work for you. He's putting in hands and feet. You had a little issue out there, bro. You had a little issue out there. We ain't going to really talk on that because, like I said, I don't really like speaking on people who, who not here anymore. But And I'm not saying you a suck at anything, T.I., but you, you really had an issue out there. That man stood on business for you. And when it came down to it, you did what was best for you. And what was best for you was was you keeping a secret from hip-hop, you keeping a secret from us, you keeping a secret from the fans for all these years, and you just kind of just casually say some shit like, Nah, that ain't even what they talking about when they talking about I be snitching. This is some old other stuff. That makes it sound like you be snitching like a lot, bro. That makes it sound like this is like a regular. Uh, that makes it sound like this is a, a normal occurrence for you, bro. Ti, I don't know, bro. I tried to back you with the whole Charleston White thing, and um, even that whole Charleston White thing. Charleston White is a goofy for even talking to to, to Ti, um, something like that. But Ti, you're a goofy for even having your son talk to a grown man like that. Your son is a grown man. He's talking to a grown man. He, he he got dealt with as a grown man. You and Boosie got to chill the fuck out, bro. Y'all going to fuck around and get hurt over some stuff that you, you shouldn't be hurt over because your kids don't know how to how to talk to people. Um, but that's a whole other video. But T.I., you hurt me with this, bro. I don't know. Y'all hop, hop in the comments let me know. Um, is T.I. wrong for this situation? Um, would you have done the same thing? Me, personally, I, I don't think I would have been in that situation. But it was my dead cousin. I, I mean... I'm doing 40 years, or I say my dead cousin did something, and they, I'm saying, I get some money, give it to his auntie. You know what I'm saying? Make sure auntie's good. Make sure auntie teaches teach, teach them good. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's what T.I. did, so I, I mean, I respect him for that. But at the end of the day, you can't be creating this music, creating this persona. You're raising kids in hip-hop, T.I. You, you raise people in the street. People have, the, you know how they say, like, hip-hop uh, um, is responsible for a lot of stuff. I don't think that hip-hop is responsible for, like, when kids go kill people or, or, or do something like that, but... It does have influence, bro. You you had influence, bro. You was one of the people who we respected, and you owe. I ain't gonna say us in, in hip hop because you. I mean, you stay in, you stay in tall and king of the south, king of Atlanta. But you owe Atlanta apology. And I don't even know what's about Alpha Omega. I don't even know if he's if he's still alive. What's going on with Alpha Omega? But at the end of the day, Alpha, uh, Ti, if, if you see this, honestly, I mean, you ain't even got to do it publicly, but you owe that man something, bro. Send that man a cash app or something, bro, because you did the same thing. And you ended that man's career. Anyways, DJ Band in the Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected. Mr. Hashtag I Am Buffalo. Before we get out of here, real quick, remember, Toy Drive, December 17th, Toy Drive, December 17th, December 17th, Toy Drive. If you're not in Buffalo and you still want to be a part of this, you can uh, send in donations. Is there a cash app on here? Let me see. Uh, all proceeds going to. I don't know. I can't really see the flyer because I'm looking at the screen, but if it is a cash app on there, make sure you hit them up. If not, hit up Spills716 on um, Instagram, Twitter, at Spills716, at S P I L L Z 716. Hit him up. He can give you all the information, um, lock you in with everything. But we will have the toy drive. It will be my team. Um, I am Buffalo versus, I can't remember DJJ real team. I believe it was the losers or the down by 40 or the, um, I think they was called the bandana black cross us all over. I don't remember the name of his team, but it's not really important the name of his team because we're going to win. But shout out to them. They, they family too. It's all for the kids. Wakanda forever. I shouldn't have seen that movie yesterday. But shout out to Bay because we went to go see that last night also too. And remember, don't forget the people that's locked up. Um, free, I, I, I'm not going to beg. Like, we're going to try this one more time. Like I said, we do have – I got one I, – I, I've been saying this as far as, like, giving away free money for people that's locked up for dinner a month and a half right now. I have one submission, one person. So that one person is definitely getting the, um, getting the cash app. This is going to be next week, Friday, when we actually start this back up. But you guys could uh, send, in your, your, send in your um, – send in your – what is it called? Your, your, your people that's locked up for the following week. Anyways, DJ Bandana Black, Mr. Well Connected, more respected. Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. Um, I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Um, I probably am forgetting something. Oh, shout out to our sponsors, too. Shout out to Buffalo. Oh, you told me, listen. Shout out to our sponsors, uh, Buffalo, Buffalo Beloved Buds. 
Yeah, Buffalo Beloved Buds. Shout out to Buffalo Beloved Buds um, on Instagram. They, they're they they're blocked on Facebook. Can't uh, message or put anything on Facebook. But shout out to our sponsor, um, Buffalo Beloved Buds. It's actually who's sponsoring us with the uh, free JPay giveaway. They have the first um, donation for that. They're going to be sponsoring uh, weekly, uh, at least for the month of January for that. So shout out to Buffalo Beloved Buds. Um, follow them on Instagram because they are blocked on Facebook. Um, we have a, well, I don't know. We got to confirm that with them. But listen, shout out Buffalo, beloved buzz. DJ Pants in the Black, Mr. Well Connected, even more respected, Mr. Hashtag I am Buffalo. We out. DJ Bandana Black and Doris Records. Yeah, man. Bandana Black, you know, he always played local music, you know, for Buffalo, man. We That was the only DJ we really had, you know what I'm saying? And um, he always showed love, man. He always been a fan. You know, since day one, I knew him before. I, I knew him before he was even bandana black. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like when he when he became, you know, on the radio, uh, a radio DJ. Man, he just always showed love, man. So you know, definitely shout to bandana black. Yeah, what? Eve, we bandana black. DJ Ban Ban Bandana.